Uh, well, I decided to get into hockey when I think I was about like seven or eight years old. My dad lived here in the U.S. and my mom was in Sweden. And uh, since hockey is the biggest sport in Sweden, it's something that you know you're around. All it's a hobby. You go to the games, and as a kid, it was. Uh, it was very fun, um, and my mom got me on the ice. Uh, yeah, around that around that time, seven, eight, um, and then ever since that, it just like it was the, the most fun sport. I was doing other sports as well, but I think, or I know, hockey was the most fun, and and that's what I stuck with. In Sweden, it was kind of more like the main kind of hype was hockey and soccer. So I kind of narrowed down the sports around like 13, 14, and then I got to the side probably at 14, and and then went from there. I got here, uh, we'll say I took the, the long route. Um, I had several positions within different marketing companies uh, across different industries such as uh, finance, uh, advertising, as well as pharmaceutical. I got into hockey, uh, I was actually working for Toyota Arena and uh, one of the directors uh, from the Kings asked uh, if I would be interested at, right after COVID uh, and coming over and working with the rain and of course I said yes. It's been great, everyone's been really good to me um, and I know ever since I was a kid um, we've been coming over here because my dad lived here in, in LA and uh, we went to LA Kings game and stuff like that so I've, already, uh, I've always kind of been a fan of, of the club um, so like when it officially happened it was it was really fun but yeah as I said like everyone's been really good um, with me and and you know other places as well so uh, AAG does a great job of, of including me uh, by making sure I'm included on most of the decisions that are made in the office always uh, asking my opinion on things when it comes to training uh, some of the newer folks uh, as well as mentoring a couple of the new folks when they when they come in and, and giving them feedback and and uh, advice on how to be successful and what it takes to, to do well uh, within the organization. I don't know, going around in the city and you know you're tall and you're um, you're black, but like people come up to me and say, "Oh, you got to play, but you you play basketball, right?" And I'm like, "No, I play hockey." And they'll be like, "Oh, really?" Um, but you know you get kind of used to it. He scores. Deflected in front by Andre Lee. For us right now, um, that like me and every other black player in the NHL or AHL, wherever they are, I think we are all like role models for like younger kids, or because they'll be watching the TV all the time and they'd be, oh, that's a that's a color player right there, and then be, they can look at it and be like, oh, maybe that that could be me one day, you know? Uh, I think. Over the years, like you see it way more now than you used to do back then. I think uh, it's really nice to see QB up right now and he's doing doing what he's doing and getting getting the credit that he like is supposed to have. I think AEG can can uh, spearhead uh, at the grassroots level by bringing and exposing kids in, in local communities, local high schools, and and as early as. Uh, primary education, starting with the street hockey at, at the young age, the street hockey at, at the local um, elementary schools, and camps uh, at the elementary level that, that gets kids from as early as age five all the way up to 15 involved in the sport early and often. I mean, another thing can also be like, you know, it could be media stuff like with us um, that our color or black um, can go into I don't know, different communities and do different stuff with them, with the kids to kind of like show them what, what we do and what, what you can be able to do um, when, you get, when you get older. As the old saying goes, it's not always what you know, but who you know, and that is very true in this industry. So I could say get connected and stay connected early and often and make sure that you have something to bring to the table with those folks of, of which you're uh, connecting to. Always do what you think is fun, because if you get pushed into something that you don't think is fun, then you then you're just miserable. But um, for I know young kids that want to get into hockey, you know, um, try to learn as much as, uh, learn as much as you can while you having as much fun fun as you can. 